Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of site designs and site scripts. So in our part one, we learned how we can create themes and how themes can be promoted using site design and site scripts. So specifically in this session, we are going to learn how we can extract the site script from the from an any existing site. So it's a pretty much real time scenario where you have created one site. Now you want to replicate or clone that site so that uh, you can create multiple or more than um, four or five sites using that template. So this is what we are going to do today. So for that example, uh, we will be just uh, extracting out one team site and uh, uh, after extraction, we will be getting one site script. That site script we can use in turn with our SPA design to have that design created under our tenant so that uh, whenever a new site is created, we can pick up that design. And in later part, uh, in session three, four, we'll be using, we'll be going uh, towards more complex stuff like how to promote the application customizers or how to uh, include the SPFX packages in our site designs and our site scripts. So today it will be just quick one to extract the existing site and then create that SPO design using out of that. So let's do it. So right now I'm just uh, opening one of my team site, which I've created. So there's a pretty team site uh, where I have actually applied one template. So let me just change the look of it so that we can have a pretty uh, nice view or a distinct view. Not this one. Okay. So that's this one. So it's a dark background. So we, we would be able to distinguish properly. And if I just go to my site contents, I would see that uh, I have already created this three list which I want to get provisioned automatically whenever my uh, site is created using this design. So this announcement list, issue tracking list, project tracking list, I want these uh, lists to be uh, existing all the time whenever I create a design, uh, uh, create a site using that design. All right. So now I'll just uh, go to my partial because this is the a right and quick way of creating or like uh, doing any partial scripting and you can also uh, consume or use the rest apis if you are a java uh, javascript developer or you can also have use the c sharp code if you want to use that but uh, it's a nice and pretty way you can just install a sharepoint online management cell and uh, uh, with a few scripts we would able to extract the existing site so i'm just going to open that script because i have already written that for you all right, so this is over here. So now I am just uh, copying these variables because I'm just copying my tenant ID, uh, tenant site URL and the, uh, my existing site URL from which I would like to extract the script. So I'm just going to my partial. So these two variables got assigned. I'll just switch back to my script and now I'll just connect to my SPO service. I will prompt you for the password. Now it's connected. So in next step, uh, you have to create one variable. So I'm just creating this variable which is relative list URL. So for example, you are having a uh, five, seven list then you would need to like uh, pass in this format, in this relative URL list and list name, then in semicolon, uh, then comma, and then other list name. So this also right now I just have three lists. So I have just uh, passed them to this relative URL. And if I just go back to my script and now you can see what I'm doing is I'm copying up or let, let's uh, first of all remove it so that you can look at it like what it is returning. So I'm just uh, my command is saying get SPO site script from web and the web URL which we just uh, created that variable and we are including theme, we are including branding, we are including external site settings, site capabilities that means external, is external sharing or not including regional settings, including links to exported items and including list from the variable which we have just created. So if I just enter, it will give up me 
uh, JSON which is having the entire script. So, so let's have a look like what it actually returns then we'll just put up that in a variable. Okay, so we got our site script returned. So you can just scroll up and then read out. It actually fetched out that theme. So it's a long, long theme. So you can see supply theme. We got it in our script and we got our site, uh, uh, site branding settings and we got our, this all item view and this for specifically, I think is for announcement list and we got entire column, the entire uh, SP field XML. We'll just keep scrolling up. So we got all these the issue tracking list script. So this is how uh, we got our this uh, long long site script and now copying it then pasting it. So uh, rather than that, we'll just put up that in a variable. So I'll just go to my tab and as you see, I have just. Uh, copied that in a one accepted variable so that directly it will be copied over here and in the next command i'll be setting up i'll be adding that you know, this site script which we which we just got and let's just add that site script it's with the add spo command you can see add spo site script and i'll just give a title to it so that i can identify and content content would be extracted the variable which we just placed there so oh, in this now I, I got this ID. So this ID as I said in previous uh, video as well this ID we are going to copy so that we can create a site design out of that. So now I have just uh, written that add SPS site design. I'll just keep that title as XMT team sites template and web template is 64 because it's a team site which uh, we are going to create and for uh, the communication site it would be 68 but I'm just pasting the ID there and in the description you can write down on your, your own description now I'm adding this and SPO design so this design got added I'll just copy the SPO uh, this uh, design ID as well because I may want it to remove my site or update my uh, remove my SP design or update my SP, SP design going forward so I'm just copying this SP ID so, so that I can just have a track of it all right so now we just got added now I will just go to the SharePoint admin center we we'll just refresh it just to have a look whether we got our SP design available there or not if I click on team site, so I got this drop down to choose a design from. So I got my design. And if I click this design and let's say create one demo uh, design site, just put up myself as owner. This creating site. And I'll just open it and refresh so now you can see this demo design site this theme got applied automatically and if I just go to the site content and now I can see my these three lists which I have actually called it provision with this site these got provisioned and these are there so this is how you can clone your existing site. You can extract the entire skeleton and move that skeleton as a site script and use that site script to create the design. So now going forward, for example, you are admin of your uh, this tenant, then you would be creating or you'd be choosing that design to create the team sites, which are provisioned with automatic uh, uh, lists or libraries or with the themes which is required. So this was a pretty quick and clean video where you can just uh, with few steps you can just clone your site and create a new one. So I, I hope uh, you, know, you would like this video and uh, this would be helpful for you. So I'll put up the the design which we uh, the script which we just actually done over there in comments so that you can pick it up and uh, do your work. So that's it.